Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Holbrook and BB Echo, and we are ready for our warm up for foundations today. Make sure you repeat after us and looking at the pictures to help you. Here we go A apple a, a safe a, a acorn a, a wash a, a squash a, a Alaska a. Awesome. Make sure you do them all. Here we go. E, E, Ed, E, E, P, E, E, me, E. There you go. Now for all the eyes. I, itch, I, I, pine, I, I, high, I, I, animal, uh, or I, I, champion, E. Great job. Now for O. O octopus ah, O home O, O no O. U, U up a, U mule U, U rule U, U pupil U, U flu U. And last but not least, Y is sometimes a vowel. Y cry I, Y baby E. Excellent. Okay, my friends, I am excited because today we are going to be learning a new green card, a new glued sound. Check it out. The card's green because these sounds are glued together. And we actually have three cards. Take a look at what you see in the picture. It's a palm tree and a girl at the beach, and they are on a vacation. So we have T-I-O-N, vacation, shun. We have another one that sounds the same. Take a look at this one here. It's a big house, it's called a mansion. And this spelling is S-I-O-N, mansion, shun. So both of these cards, even though they're spelt differently, one is an S and one is a T, both of them say shun. Now, there's one that's a little bit different. Take a look at this one. It's spelt the same as mansion, but it doesn't say shun. It says S-I-O-N, television, jun. It's got the z sound going with the S. Okay, let's practice. And I'm gonna make myself a little bigger here. Okay, let's practice. T-I-O-N, vacation, shun. Make sure you repeat after me since these are new. S-I-O-N, mansion, shun. S-I-O-N, television, shun. Very nice. So we also need to add these cards up to our standard card. So here we go. Let's do them without the pictures. T-I-O-N, vacation, shun. Very nice. And let's do both of these. S-I-O-N, mansion, shun. S-I-O-N, television, shun. Great, and I will add them um, with all of my other glued sounds over here. Okay, fantastic. Now, let's practice some words that have these sounds. I'm going to use my syllable frame. I have two frames here for a two-syllable word. And watch what I do here. I'm going to start with the first syllable for you to read, and then I'm going to put the second syllable. Can I hear everybody at home or everybody watching this read this, please? What's the first syllable? Man, shun, mansion. That's right. So both of these cards do say shun, and they are glued sounds that are always in the last syllable of a word. You'll never see them in the beginning, and they're stable syllables. They're not going to change. Let's look at the other word. It's three syllables. 
So I have one syllable frame there. I'll do one here and I'll draw one here. What's the first syllable? Ve, it's open, so the A says A. What's the next syllable? K. And here's our new sound. Shun. Vacation. Vacation. Mansion. Mansion. They both say shun at the end. Now, don't forget that this one, S-I-O-N, can also say zun. Like in, what does this first syllable say? Tele. Vision. Tell. La. Vi. Jean should be its own. Jean. Tell. La. Actually, this should be its own syllable too. Let's see how many syllables in television. Tell. E. Vi. Jean. Okay. There we go. So, what does the jeune say in this word? The S-I-O-N says jeune. Okay, let's go into our student notebook and find a spot that can help us identify this. So if you get your student notebook out and you go to the very beginning where all the different sounds are, you'll find the glued sound page. Um, Keep going, you guys should be looking with me. Keep looking. Sounds, where are you? Well, searching, because it's actually in the very beginning. It's like the second page. There's digraphs, and then there's this page that says additional sounds. So now we've learned T I O N, vacation shun, S I O N, mansion shun. S-I-O-N, television, Jean. I want you to pause and take a few minutes to color in these little pictures and really think about those three new sounds that we just learned. Okay, once you've learned those, come on back. Okay, let's start with this list here. All of these words have what at the end? T-I-O-N. See if you can read these with me. Instruction, instruction, like to teach something, instruct someone. Try reading this one. Definition, definition, what a word means in this word. Function, function. And we know that a function is a purpose or how something is used. Okay, so let's look at our next list. And these are all going to have S-I-O-N, like manshun. So we'll hear shun. Go ahead and try to read them. Okay, let's read them together now. Tension, comprehension, extension, suspension. How do they all end? Shun. Very nice. And let's do one more list. Still has S-I-O-N, but this time it's like television, so we're going to hear Jean. Here we go. Try to read them on your own. Vision, decision, confusion. Okay. We'll be working on words like this throughout the week, reading them and spelling them as well. Okay, my friends, and now I have some new sound-alike words for you. Are you ready? Okay, check it out. We have meat and meat. One of them is a part of an animal that can be eaten. And you can remember it because that one has the word eat in it. This is meat, like when you eat meat. This one is when people get together, when they meet up or have a Google Meet. And I have two others for you as well. Week and week. This one 
is seven days make up a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. This one means that you have very little strength, not strong, you're feeling weak. Okay, I would like you to get your student notebooks and open up to the part that has all the sound alike words. Um, they are towards the very back. And let's start by finding meat and meat, and we will write in the definitions. The words are already there. You just have to copy these in. So for meat, I'll put the definitions right up for you. Okay, there you go, my friends. Copy down meat with two E's when people get together and meat with the word eat in it, a part of animals that can be eaten. Pause here until you copy those down. Okay, and now for our other definitions, weak with an A, little strength, and weak with two E's, seven days. Pause here and copy those in. Okay, great. Now that those are all copied in, I want you to think, why did we do four words today? Why do you think we did all of these sound alikes together? Anyone have any thoughts? They're all four letters. Good. What else? Yeah, two of them have the E-A vowel team that says E, weak and meat. And then the bottom two have the E-E vowel team, like Jeep that says E. So they kind of match up in that they're homophones that have the same vowel patterns for their two different pairs. Okay, and let's do a little bit of a homophone, or we can call them our sound alikes, review before we end today. So let's check it out. We're going to add a bunch of homophones, sound alikes, that you've done. We're going to go back to unit three and four. And you know what? Let's even do some from unit one. Okay. So when you see the word, I want you to out loud say a sentence that could work for that word. Okay. Hopefully your sentence meant something that is simple, not fancy. How about this plane? like an airplane, good. What's the word, everybody? Male, and what kind of male? Go ahead, say a sentence. You're going to put it in the mail. And how about this one? A male, um, yeah, like a man, a man is male, a boy is male. Okay, what word do we have here? Mind, and what's the sentence for this mind? Like your brain, you use, need to use your mind. Good. And how about this one? Mind. Yeah, it's got a suffix ed on it, so it's something that happened in the past tense. They mined for gold. Okay, one more pair. What's this one say? Find. You're going to need to find the right page in your student notebook. And how about this find? kind of like mind. It's got the suffix CD. They were fined a fee for not wearing their seat belts. It's when you have to pay money if you're fined. Okay, nice job, everybody. Don't forget those new sounds that we learned today and we'll be working on all week. See you next time.